Michael writes me and says, I have a question with regards to a recent video. Oh boy, here's where it comes back to bite me in the butt. <laughs> where you refer a quality DAC with a preamp is better as compared to an analog preamp, specifically when you're listening to digital music. I'm using an NAD C162 preamp along with two C272 power amps for each main speaker. And the source is a Blue Sound node, which, which is a streamer, uh, and an outboard Cambridge audio DAC. I would love to try your method, but I have two concerns. Firstly, I need to use an outboard, do I need to use an outboard DAC to the inferior DAC inside of the streamer? Um, and second, uh, either the streamer or the DAC only has a set of RCA outputs which doesn't serve the two power amps. Would appreciate if you could point me in the best direction. That was a bit of a convoluted question, but that's okay. I think I know what you're asking me. Um, first off, if the DAC inside the streamer, if it's, well, like you're, well, most of the lower cost streamer DACs, the money has not gone into the DAC. The DACs are, in my experience, what we call courtesy DACs. They're there, kind of like the courtesy AC plug that we include with our equipment. It's there so you can plug in and go without worrying, but it's not what we would recommend that you use. And that is typical. And, and the Blue Sound, for example, I have personally heard, it's an okay DAC. It's, it works. I wouldn't use it if you have the ability to add an extra DAC, an outboard DAC of better quality. Now the one you've added over here, the, what is it, the Cambridge? I, I, I'm certainly familiar with Cambridge, but I'm not familiar with their DAC, and I have never compared the two. I assume you probably have. First thing to do, compare it. Take your preconceived notions and set them aside and just do a comparison. The blue node to complete Here's what it sounds like. Go back to the same track, separate the two, make sure you have a decent cable connecting up the uh, streamer to the Cambridge DAC. Give it a listen. If it's better, you've answered your own question. If it's not, why bother? I mean, seriously, it's, I, I, I know a lot of people that use the Blue Sound as a streamer, but they're going into a quality DAC, like something from PS Audio like something from shit audio, something from Emotiva. And that is definitely a step up. So the second part of your question, um, there's only two sets of RCA out, which doesn't serve the two power amplifiers. I got confused with that, that question. Um, I'm not sure what you're asking me there, so I apologize. If, if the question is, how do we take the uh, output of the streamer, it, that's digital going into your DAC, and the DAC is going to have a set of RCA outs or a set of XLRs if it's a decent DAC. And there, I always recommend using the XLR cables if you can. If your preamp or your power amp, whatever you're using after the DAC, supports it. So I may have missed that question. I apologize if I did, but hey, we're just here having fun. <laughs> All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.